Okay, so I'm going to go through this question. In order to go through it, we need to understand what steps you need to take to work it out. So what I'm going to do for this question here is I'm going to split it into one quarter of the circle. Now, in this quarter of the circle, I know that this is a radius and this is a radius, making this an equilateral triangle. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work out the area of this equilateral triangle. Now, once I have the area of this equilateral triangle, I'm then going to work out the shaded, um, this, this bit at the top here. And in order to work out this shaded green bit, I'm going to do area of a sector, take away area of the triangle. Then I'm going to double it to also get this green bit here. Then once I do that, I'm going to do area of the quarter of the circle. So the full quarter, take away the red and the green bit in order to get this shaded bit here. Once I get this shaded bit here, I'm going to multiply that by four. And that's how I get the total shaded segment in this question. So let's start off because that we, because we know each side is a radius. That means each side is four centimeters. Also, it's an isosceles triangle, so they are all going to be sixty degrees. Okay. So let's get started. Let's work out the area of the triangle. And to do that, I'm going to do half times a times b times sine c. Substitute the values into this. So half times four times four times sine sixty. Sine 60 is root 3 over 2. Half times 4 times 4 is going to be 8. 8 times root 3 over 2, which is 8 root 3 over 2, which simplifies to give you 4 root 3. So the area of the triangle is going to be 4 root 3. Now, to get the area of the shaded segment, I'm going to do, again, sector takeaway triangle. So the area of the sector is going to be theta over 360, 60 over 360 times pi times radius squared. Take away area of the triangle, which I've just worked out to be 4 root 3. So that's 1 sixth multiplied by 16 pi, take away 4 root 3, which is going to give me 16 over 6 pi, take away 4 root 3, which simplifies to give me 8 over 3 pi, take away 4 root 3. Now I'm going to double it because there are two of them. So 2 bracket 8 over 3 pi, take away 4 root 3. And that's going to give me 16 over 3 pi take away eight root three. Now that is the total, both green shaded parts. Now to get the total shaded parts, I'm gonna do add the green part and the red part together. So I'm going to do four root three plus 16 over three pi, take away eight root three. Four root three, take away eight root three gives me minus four root three. So I'm left with 16 over three pi, take away four root three. And that's the total area I need to subtract. Area of a quarter circle is pi times radius squared divided by four, which is 16 pi over four, which is just four pi. That's the area of the quarter circle. Now, I'm gonna do the quarter circle, take away the part we need to subtract. So I'm going to be doing four pi, take away 16 over three pi, take away four root three. Now, this is four over one. You're gonna subtract it like fractions, make the denominator the same. So 12 pi take away, and this is like in brackets. So you're doing four pi take away 16 over three pi take away four root three. So you make the denominator the same. It becomes 12 pi take away 16 pi, and then minus minus four root three is going to become plus four root three. So you're going to be left with 12 take away 16 is minus four over three. So you're going to be left with four root three minus four over three pi. Now that's the area of just a quarter of it. Now I need to multiply by four because it's four parts. So four bracket, four root three minus four over three pi, which is going to give me 16 root three minus 16 over three pi. Now this is your final answer, 16 root three minus 16 over three pi. But if you want to neaten it up, you can, you can you've got a 16 in both of them. So you can factorize it by 16. And you can write it as 16 bracket root three, take away, instead of saying a third pi, I'm just going to say pi over three. And that is also another way to write your final answer. This is completely fine, but if you want to factorize it in the alphabet, you can write it as that as well, okay?
um, and this is the final answer, guys.